Hey guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, as if we weren't already excited enough for a new reason to use our aim controllers, Sony has debuted two new trailers for Firewall Zero Hour over on the PlayStation blog. One titled Attacking 101, and the other Defending 101, Firewall is definitely climbing the list of our most anticipated PlayStation VR games. Featuring 9 maps and 4v4 multiplayer, this might just live up to the hype of being the Rainbow Six successor that we all want it to be. Next up, are you tired of waiting for the Arizona Sunshine Dead Man DLC? Originally scheduled for a June release, well, the wait is finally over, because the PlayStation VR release date has been confirmed for August 14th here in the West. And if it follows the same pricing structure as the Steam Store, it should only cost about $250. Set in the VR zombie shooter's largest level to date, the Dead Man DLC is a story prequel that shifts the focus of Arizona Sunshine to a military perspective. And more news coming from Vertigo Games is the announcement of a new PlayStation VR game called A Fisherman's Tale. In the game you play as Bob, a tiny fisherman puppet who lives alone, oblivious to the world outside. When your radio broadcasts a storm warning, you have to get to the top of the lighthouse to turn on the light. But as you try to leave your cabin with the help of some uncanny sidekicks, you find out that the world outside is not at all what you expected. This VR puzzle game is slated to launch sometime this year for PlayStation VR. Next up, launch title Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes has always been one of the most innovative uses for VR, making the news of a non-VR patch more than a little surprising. In this mode, one player will use the TV to defuse the bomb, while the other players will download the bomb defusal manual on their phones or tablets. The players who already own the game will get the non-VR patch for free on August 16th and new gamers can get a 10% discount on Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes from August 16th to August 23rd on the PlayStation Store. Next up, we reported back in March that Home Sweet Home would be coming to PlayStation VR. But now through a GameStop.com listing, it seems that the PSVR version has a release date and a price. Coming on October 16th for $30, it looks like GameStop has the exclusive rights to sell the physical version. Focusing primarily on stealth and puzzle solving, Home Sweet Home is getting extremely positive reviews over on Steam. And according to HLTB.com, this one should clock in at just under 5 hours. Meaning for me, October can't come soon enough. And then finally, in case you missed it on this week's episode of PSVR Gamescast Live, independent developer Paw Stamp Studio is working on a new VR title called The Land of Amara, with plans of an eventual PlayStation VR release. This one is heavily inspired by games like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, and even though it's extremely early in development, it looks like one to keep an eye on. There's currently a 9 minute video of pre-alpha gameplay on YouTube, and it all looks pretty awesome. If you're interested in checking out the full video, or contributing to Stamp Studios' Patreon, click the link in the description. Alright you guys, that's all the PlayStation VR news I have for you today, but make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all.